this is Rick Osmond for Invest Comics TV, and today we're talking with Tony Campos, who currently has been working with Andrew Czar and Dark Brain Comics as the voice of a detective in, what, Church of One? Church of One, yeah. Is, it, uh, is this a first for you? Is this your first voice talent job? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's something I always wanted to, to try and get into, you know. Um, I've always been uh, a fan of anime, and, uh, you know, and I have a, a few friends that, that, that have got into it, and, you know, it just seems like a really cool thing to do. Um, and when Andrew approached me about doing this uh, this webcomic, I was like, yeah, you know, I'd love to give it a shot. So, cool. It's, it, it's turned out pretty cool, man. Now, as I understand it, there was actually an intermediary in there between you and Andrew at first, um, and it was someone that some of us know from her on-screen talents, so to speak. <laughs> right. And that's Tabitha Stevens. Yeah. Uh, have you worked with her in the studio there doing the voice, or has it all been remote? No, no, I've done everything here, here at the house, just, you know doing everything from my recording setup right here um yeah but it, it would have been cool if uh you know we could have like worked out the, the scenes together you know but she lives out in uh like utah somewhere yeah. <laughs> well, and, I'm, and i'm in la so yeah well i guess the closest we'll get to is being on screen with her so yeah <laughs> so yeah no it's funny because i've actually uh I've actually made cameos in uh, a few, like uh, what was it? Um, I think at least one, one, one of her movies. You know, I, uh, I don't even know what they were called, but uh, uh, this one I played a janitor, and uh, you know, I, I like like basically berated you know all the all the the, the, the actors in the, in Spanish. It's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know enough Spanish to do to pull that off for myself, but yeah. <laughs> but your your day job, so to speak, is that you are a musician, as shows up in the the hanging your wall hangings there. Yeah, yeah, that's that's my main gig right there. So you want to talk music. about where you've been, who you played with, what albums you got out, and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been fortunate enough to. I've been doing this professionally for 10 years now, and, you know, I've gotten to, to work with a lot of cool, you know, different people, you know, a lot of people that, you know, I grew up, you know, admiring. Um, like, uh, my last band, Static X, uh, we were together for 10 years, um, and, uh, you know, the, the two bands that, that really inspired us, that I say, that, you know, I freely admit that we worked off most, uh, were Ministry and Braun. And uh, back in 2008, I got to be uh, in, in, uh, in ministry doing the farewell tour for them, and, uh, and now I'm playing the prom. And, uh, yeah. I'm uh, yeah. working on a new record, and uh, we just finished all the demos, so hopefully we'll get in the studio in the next couple of months and uh, crank this sucker out, get back out on the road, and you know start playing again. Well, if you get towards southern Indiana, let me know. We'll get together. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. The... Uh and, and I worked on the road myself for a few years, and people say, "Oh, it's got to be glamorous." No, no, it's work. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's like it's like anything. You know, it, it has its ups and it has its, its downsides. You know, and uh, it, 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 if you're not really out there, you know, loving that that half hour to hour, you're on stage running around like an idiot, and the rest of, of, of you know all, all the crap you got to deal with out on the road it isn't worth it you know but for me you know I, I love every minute of it yep now uh, your style of music which is generally um, heavy metal correct yeah definitely well you know back in the 80s when I was doing that stuff we called them hair bands but I don't think that applies right now yeah, uh, I mean, there's there's definitely some some bands that they're still doing that, you know. Uh, but you know, I I've, I've always, you know, like kind of like try to try to stay away from that scene, you know. Uh, it just wasn't my just wasn't my thing, you know. Uh, I mean, I saw I saw that, you know, 
bands like, you know, like Cinderella or whatever. I saw that and uh, I was like, uh, I'm going to go listen to DRI and Black Flag. <laughs> Understood. Well, we're going to take a little bitty break, and when we come back, we'll expand on that musical career stuff real quick. Right on. Greetings, Earthlings. I am with the Planet Zordon. Watch my friends, Ennis, Crunch, and Rick Osman film Unraveling the Secrets right here on the Soup Media Network each Saturday at midnight Eastern, 9 p.m. Pacific, and each Sunday at noon Eastern. They will bring you interesting guests and information from all over, above, or inside your pathetic little planet. Oh my. I've misplaced my tinfoil derby. And we're back with Tony Campos, of formerly of Static X and Ministry, and working again with some of those people. And tell us a little more about the songs and album that you're trying to get out there right now. Um, yeah, well, we've got about 14 songs done. Um, might write a couple more. Uh, yeah, still a... Uh, so trying to figure out what label we want to go with. Um, so, you know, it's still, there's still a little bit of, of work to do. But uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get everything settled and, and get this thing done before the summer and, you know, get back out and hit the road again. So who, who are you working with on these songs? If you don't... Uh, it, it's a, yeah, it's uh, myself, uh, Tommy Victor, who's the, you know, the... the uh, you know, the founder of Prong and uh, and uh, Alexi Rodriguez who um, who I met a few years ago uh, while I was out on tour with Static X and we were on Ozfest together. He was playing with a band called uh, Three Inches of Blood out of Canada and a ripping drummer and uh, for one reason or another they, they, he was let go of that band. I think he I think he beat up somebody in Saxon. I don't know exactly. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know, it worked out good for us because he's a ripping drummer. So, so, uh, so I, I count a four-piece band so far. Is that what you're going with? Or are you going to have uh, any Three, three actually. Three. three, actually. Yeah, three-piece. Power trio. Are you all singing, or is it? No, I, I do backing vocals every once in a while, you know, just like shouty stuff, you know. Uh, but Tommy's the, the main vocalist. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, you you say you don't have a label picked out. Are you in negotiations with anybody, or how's that? Work yeah, yeah, I can't, yeah, I can't really uh, mention names, uh, but uh, yeah, there's definitely uh, a group on the table there uh, waiting to hear, you know, more stuff. So, you know, we just uh, can go play by ear and see, uh, you know, who gives us the best deal and. Not necessarily who's going to give us the most money, but who's really going to be able to support the record and you know really give it the push that it needs, you know? Right. So I mean, I'll, t- I'll take less of an advance, you know, if if if, if they're going to work the record, you know, because because uh, I mean, already haven't haven't been on a major label, you know, with Static X, we were on Warner Brothers for so many years, um, you know, they, yeah, the, the advances are nice, but you know. If, the label doesn't really do anything to push the record in. Right. You know, right. the record doesn't really do anything. So. Okay, so, yeah. that, so that brings us back to uh, the royalties end of things and and back to Andrew Zarr, who has a kind of a unique setup. Uh, as soon as he makes money, you get your royalties, which is kind of unique. Am I correct in that? Um, I mean, I've never dealt with the... Uh, you know, with the comics industry before, but, you know, this seems like a pretty cool, straightforward way to do business, you know? Yep. Well, Andrew's not exactly a comics book industry guy. He's a tech head. So, ah. so he, I, he, he, I guess he's not following <laughs> their rules. He's making up his own as he goes along. No, that's good. Yep. Well, anyway, Tony, I want to appreciate, I want to tell you that I appreciate you being on with us today. And I'll certainly look forward to getting more out of you on Dark Brain, and I'll also look forward to finding a copy of whatever this album ends up being named. Yeah, we don't we don't have a title for it yet. So. <laughs> but, 
will stay in contact and when you get close to a release date uh, hook up with me and, and we'll get some announcements out there sounds good to me bro alrighty and this is Rick Osman for Invest Comics TV talking with Tony Campos thanks Tony oh, man, thanks all right Here's a riddle for you. What do the California Gold Rush of the 1850s, secret societies, coded messages, mysterious 19th century flying machines, and an early 20th century outside artist named Charles A. A. Delshaw all have in common? The Secrets of Delshaw by Dennis Crenshaw and Pete Navarro. Go to www.secretsofdelshaw.com to learn more.